Okay, I bought the silk for 180 and the furs for 230 And I'm at 10170 I'll be a little less when I buy these. Silk 180, furs 230 in river check. So now I'm down to 97.60. Um, my character is 10th level. Experience, um, I have 15828, and I need 16161 for the next level. My one-handed weapons are up to 137, two-handed up to 73, archery up to 86, pole arms 55, crossbows 30, and throwing 30. I'm at weapon master four, riding four. Um, my leadership is up at three now. My strength is 15, agility 12, intelligence seven, charisma nine. I have um, Artemenor, Ferentis, Lesolet, Ralph, Alain, Bahaster, Borcher, and uh, what's her name? Mattelled. If I can get her, I'll have her join. I have one Huskarl, and uh, I have seven Swadian knights, and a total of 39 troops. Try and keep about five infantry in front of roughly five archery units. The cavalry are mobile anyway, more mobile. Um, and so now we're trying to get up to about 11,000 so that I can um, get a second store. So since my party, everybody's at 100% at this point, um, before I sell those items, let me see if I can pick up some, um, a little extra money from fighting. I'm just repeating stuff I've been doing to get the money. So there's 24 and I have 39. So the odds are almost two to one. Maybe now there's another 24. They'd have more than me if they joined against me, and they do that sometimes. So you see the large groups, so we have to be a little bit careful here. But it's good to get rid of these groups, so they don't, they don't get me uh, together. They don't group together to get me. I will break from your skull. You can see people are at war, by the way. Okay, charge the enemy. F1, F1, 1, F2, F1. And let me move my cavalry 3, F1, and I'll put them on the other side. Come on, cavalry, move. I don't think I have any archery unit. Oh, I do. There's two of them. Are they all archery? One, F2, F1. Let's... Zero, F1, F3. They're all coming towards me, you notice that? But as long as they're focused on me... They're not focused on my troops. That thick shield is a big help. Where are they at? I see people running. All right. 
No casualties, 18 of them killed, 6 wounded. Not bad on open ground. And I need to be able to take more prisoners now. Thirty-eight five. I have forty-one sixteen. Somebody may be able to take that. Fourteen boots. I think everybody's better than that now. Twenty-three. I think everybody's better than that on their helmet. But um, let's look for this thirty-eight. I've advanced in level. And. Um, I have 9991 dinars. So what was I going to do here? Um, oh, yeah. So I have to go to my party. And let's see who we can give that armor to. Looking at the pictures, I'll look for the ones that look the least, the least bright. He's 36.3. This is 38.5. This is much better. So I'll replace it. So I'm pretty sure the others are at least as good as this guy's. Um, notice he has 23 head armor and this is 38. They, uh, they're mostly higher by now. So let me head to look for... Tray, um, ransom brokers. I'll head up to Cura. Nobody's injured. And uh, we just fought a large group of sea raiders with the Huskarl and the um, Swadian knights. A uh, couple of Swadian knights. We're much stronger now. And we have uh, Vager archers, I think, and some Rodok crossbowmen. So, again, you understand our goal. Uh, let me, you know, I'm a habitual game saver. It saves me from having to start far back if I have to reload for some reason. All right, let's go to the tavern. See if the ransom broker's there. All right. I've been ambushed a couple of times, and I do need to increase my level. I should probably do that now. Character. So I'm going to improve my intelligence a bit to begin improving my skills. But I, I want to make sure I have room where I want it. So, all right. So, improve the intelligence. Uh, my writing's already pretty good. I think I started with the extra looting. I want, I'm going to need good tactics. I know I gave another player tactics, um, but I'm going to work on my tactics. And I think... Um, I should do trainer at least once, and I'm also going to work on my surgery. Maybe throw one in persuasion at some point. Also, my weapon master, um, once I get up to about 180 and something, then, uh, I may want to try and grow that. All right. At the marketplace, notice the silk. We get several hundred profit from that. The furs, we don't get much, so I'm not going to bother trading those. And the reason I want to have over a thousand more is to pay for my troops. So let's see. 
um, we'll sell the armor that we got. It's 148. We'll sell the arms. I like doing them at the stores that correspond to them. Pretty sure my people have weapons comparable to these. So um, I don't need to go through all my characters. So the party is at 10,879, costing 978 dinars a week. Now, to be honest, the store will give us about 500, the business we already have. If you look, we already have one business give, gave us 522 last week. So, but we're going to look to um, first ransom off the people. If there's somebody we can fight on the way, we may stop to do that. And I'll control space to speed it up. There you go. Okay, first let's try the tavern. I'm not even going upstairs to look. And let's try the marketplace. The first 297, still too little. Um, I'm tempted to get the ale less than a hundred. I think I can sell it for over a hundred, uh, but usually 50 is better. We don't need that much more. Let's just see if we can find a ransom broker. I'll speed it up, okay? There we go. All right. Um, first, let's check the marketplace for the furs. Uh, Three ninety-eight. That's at least a hundred profit, sure. And let's try the tavern. Shavi's not a bad person to have, I think, but I'm really looking for a ransom broker. See, there's people up here sometimes. Normally, I don't go up and check, but I want to minimize the amount of traveling or try to do that. Let's try Halmar, see if we can find one there. So that announcement was just that a truce has expired. If you want me to review who's at war and who isn't, more often let me know. Now at night time, okay, it's daytime. Nighttime is when you get ambushed more often. If it's daytime, I'm, I'm, I don't feel as much of a need to save. And in the bars, sometimes I get attacked. That's why I pull my weapons out. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Let's go to Veluca uh, and buy some wine and sell it at Cherise. And those cities will make a little bit off of that. We got to travel so much while looking. We might as well make something out of it. You can often get wine cheap here, you know, grape juice. Let's check the tavern first.
and there is the ransom bro broker. So that's 548 puts us almost at 12,000. And wine uh, less than 200 is good. We'll grab some of this and as long as it's less than 200 and uh, we'll sell it. Notice the ale's over 100 here. That's why I didn't buy it because that was a cl too close to what I would sell it for. So, okay. And sometimes you can get deals in the towns close to here. So I'm just going to have a look. And if you can save a village, you get honor from that. Grain for five is cheap. I'll, I'll grab one. And while we head up Let's try Sirindar. Control space again, speeds it up. 11 and 11 is good. We could probably sell some of those where we're going. All right. Um, Saren is on the way, so. Let's go there. See, now we're down to 10,967. We will start a business soon. Ten, that's a good price. We will take it. Heading up into the uh, Saranids Sultanate. Usually you can sell the wine up in one of their cities. And All right, marketplace, trade goods. Notice 283 for 100 profit. Uh, all of, all of these, we are profiting. And look, we bought the grain for from five to eleven, so we can sell this at a profit. Just watching seventeen thirty one. Since we don't need extra food, we can sell all that for a profit. Now we've got 11,888 and we are still making 352 from our business in Cura. And that shows me that the business is in Cura. Where do we want to set up our business next? And the way I select, I look and see who is the towards the least powerful. And, oh, look here. Rodegear Castle, the Nords took that. Wait, maybe... Yeah, I think that used to belong to the Vagers. I know Ravidin used to belong to the Vagers, and they lost it. I believe Sungat, Sungatek Castle used to belong to the Vagers, and the Kurgit Kanate got it. Um, so... Let's put the business in Kudan, the city that belongs to the Vagers. When I move it, it follows the troops. Control space will move this quicker for you. 
Oh, we just missed somebody. That might have been good. Saranid Sultanate has declared war against the Kurgit Khanate. There's 18 looters. Let's see if we can catch them. Looters are kind of easy, but they're easy experience. Watch, then I'll have a hard time with them since I said they were easy. Get the cavalry out of the way. I'll wait, hold my shield up. Zero for everybody. F1 for movement orders. And when I see them, I'll hit F3 to charge. Especially when they start hitting my shield, shooting at me. F3, charge. I don't want to get surrounded. Where are they at? No casualties. I generally promote my troops 986, 11808. Now, we were going, all right, the boots. I don't think anything here is really that great that we want to give it to one of the people with us so we can sell all this we are heading to kudan Yeah, those bad guys, they're just good to give us experience. This is part of how the Hus we got the Huskarls and the Swadia Knights is uh, just fighting villains. And uh, as we practice on those people, our levels go up. Now, we could just charge people like that and probably win, but I'm trying to learn some of the basic key bindings. Manhunters are friendly. They move at about 6.1 there. Okay. So first, marketplace. Armor merchant. Uh, we'll trade the boots, the armor. Then with the arms merchant, the s weapons. Oh, let me put the hats at the armor merchant. I notice... Um, Okay. Let's go take a walk around the streets and see if we can open a business. That would be the horse merchant.
That guy is dressed nice right here. And that is the guildmaster. Hello, stranger. You seem... The guildmaster says, Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Kudan. I am the guildmaster of the town. See, I wish to buy land in this town for a productive enterprise. He says, Very good, sir. We in the guild know and trust you, and I think I could find someone to sell you the land you need. Now, usually the weavery and dye works to make velvet from silk and dye is the best. And it says the profit would be 568 dinars a week. If it's about 500 dinars a week or 400, then that's pretty good. And he wants 10,000 for that. So yes, here is the money. Leave. Tab. And now I have a dye works in this city. And that, my friends, is how I got to the second business. I have 1,957 dinars left. And my weekly cost is 986 dinars. And now my budget... I am getting revenue from Cura. Last week I got 392. Now this die works will give me revenue. And so my wages, uh, my net change will be uh, even less. When my businesses outweigh my costs, then I will make a profit even without fighting people. I will try to stay under, uh, you know, 40, mostly with my troops. Uh, I don't even mind if I shrink a little bit uh, and get closer to 30. So um, I will save the game as usual. And I will come back when we are near my third... Um, near my third business. Thank you for watching.